Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Seth Collins, Seth Collins Lawn Care. Flip the phone around here. Uh, as you can see, my poor 104 needs a bath. Uh, but this is what I've done to my new modification to the Skag 61. Uh, you do have to take off the uh, rear. Uh, any scalp wheel But this time of year it gets real slick real muddy I'll Give y'all a little shot here. It's exactly dead on the uh, Maybe the deck sticks out just a tad more than the wheel but uh, leaves a nice fall footprint it uh, Cuts uh, a real nice path uh, Stripes leaves a real good stripe so uh, didn't know if uh, maybe everybody wanted to get a little view of beautiful mountains. This is my dog Leo. He's a good dog. Uh, the leaves here in southwest Virginia are very pretty uh, this time of year. Uh, people always ask why I do that to my mower. Uh, I don't live in a flat land like everybody else does. This is my front yard. And as you can see, it's kind of fun to mow. Uh, it's pretty steep, pretty slick. It's kind of hard to walk on it, much less mow it. So, uh, that's not a Skag approved or anybody approved modification to a mower. That's my own personal. Yes, I understand that it'll wear a everything a little quicker uh, I'm gonna make a video later on of the Z glide got the old American flag flying there the old colonial flag right below it I'm really glad that we are in this country despite how everybody complains about how everything is so um, you find the double wheels on the back definitely improves traction on you walk behind I don't know if anybody company wise that even makes one I don't know why they make riders that do it and they make uh, a couple of stand on units that do it but uh, nobody seems to have a, a walk behind with quad wheels on the back I guess uh, anybody's interested in seeing how I got that contraption set up just let me know uh, you can probably figure it out but I did however have a little high winds here yesterday day before yesterday and uh, we lost this here tree down here show y'all some pretty part of southwest Virginia A little bit of God's country there. And uh, everybody is uh, hinting around about me doing some kind of video series about my truck. Uh, I may do that here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, if y'all want to see something on it to know how I hook it up or how I've got it hooked together, uh, it is a 14 foot uh, trailer here it's 10 on the flat four on the dovetail with a ramp has a couple garage door springs over there to help me pull up the thing she is a 6.4 diesel I mounted this box here this is actually a truck box but I've got it where it folds down and you can do a little work on it Probably ought to give it a bath and some logos, but I haven't. Uh, anyways, what's neat is I have this solar panel up here. And it feeds into this box here. And it has a controller. And it comes out of the controller down and it charges this battery. And comes back up into the box to charge my battery paired equipment. I know there's a big power push to go to it. Uh, I've done it now for about the last two years. 
uh, with this battery paired kind of set up. Uh, I'm actually waiting on a part on my truck for this one right now. Uh, computer part, it's actually down right now. Uh, but uh, you know how computer pieces are right now in this country. Uh, COVID. So supposedly it has been shipped and it'll be back on the road. But she's been a good truck. So if anybody would like to see a detailed how I put that together uh, to charge my Ego battery or any of my power equipment. Uh, just let me know.